Apple, can we talk? I've thought about it, and I think it's best if I just leave. Come on, Apple, don't go. Everybody feels bad about what happened, but we can work it out. We're family here. I don't want to leave, but I have places to go, people to see. Gotta find the next big adventure for my very best bits feed. Being a famous traveler is what I do. It's why people like me. Is that why you don't stay with anyone for very long? Oh, Strawberry, I'm not like you and everybody else here. Having something you do that people need. At least stay until the Barricans can fix the bus. Oh, I can fix the bus faster than you can say batten down the hatches. It's my fault it crashed in the first place. I got curious how the booster worked and I uh, tried to improve it. <laughs> I guess I improved it too much. Fixed. How'd you do that? I don't know. I just kind of look at stuff and I see how it works. See you, Strawberry. Well, but call, okay? Send me a postcard. I will. Strawberry! <laughs> All right, where is she? That cousin of yours, where'd she go? Oh, what'd she do this time? Do? You're not gonna believe it. I don't know how she could have done such a thing. Oh, that bad, huh? Bad? No! It's good! It's great! It's brilliant! She fixed the power system! Better than new! She's a genius! Best Sparkleberry Techie in the very bitty world! Where is she? I gotta hire her! This town needs her! It keeps saying she's out of range. What'd she do? Leave town? Apple! 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 Oh, I think we're lost. Huh? Huh? you to give me and my crew a crash course in fixing stuff. Apple, I want you to tell the kids your adventure stories at story time. We all want you to stay. There's no one aboard? How to do that? Automatic return. A little feature I added tells the butterflies when you don't need the bus anymore. Because you know you're not gonna leave when you know you found the people you want to stay with and the place you want to stay. Welcome home. Chocolate milk. Yeah. Like she said, we will.
was about halfway up the trace, resting her dogs for a spell. Hey, now, Plum. Ain't that for strawberries, hot chocolate? We're meant to save that for around the campfire. Ah, oh, dang, Nabbit, y'all are right. Must be off my rocker. Then I up and recollected I'd been hankering to show the gals a new dance routine I'd been working on. Hey, now, looky here. Might come in handy next time we're high-stepping at a square dance. It went down a crater hole. Boy, howdy. We're in for it now. That strawberry's hot chocolate. Gotta get it back. We're with you, partner. Brisk up, gals. Here goes the nothing. So, by come, we clumb down into that fire hole. Hold your horses now. Where'd that canteen get to? By all rights, should be right here. <laughs> Well, there we was, down a hole without a coil. And then we heard something that made us wish we was anywhere but there. <gasps> hey, now, that canteen is iron, Buster. Kind of hand it over real friendly like. Wouldn't you know it? That critter was skittish as a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. Well, now the hair's in the butter. After that varmint! Easy now, boy. Easy. Keep him in the corral. Now, don't get his dander up. I'm gonna... He's on the prod, Plum. You best step lively. And I leapt up on him. Never have you seen such a catawumpus. Yeah! Ride him, Plum! Stick to your saddle. Rain him in! Get him! I'm here to tell you, it was a rip snorting ride. That varmint threw me and was about to head for the high horizon. We could see we had just as much a chance taking our loop back as catching a weasel asleep. But we made a fair shake in the end. What do you think there, partner? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, big fella. We love you too. Technology and crashing? No, technology and fashion! We have this great idea for a new kind of fashion show. Could you? Oh, I could! Mm. And we want you to be the star! Oh, sorry, girls. I'm a little distracted tonight. Things have been crazy trying to run the cafe and the marketplace. Today was the worst. The marketplace had to run on rutabagas like you wouldn't believe. Maybe you could tell me your idea tomorrow? But this is an unbelievable first for fashion. Here, let me help you. This idea is so, so cutting edge. Let me do that. Brilliant. It's brilliant. <laughs> I think you better tell me now. So you want me to be your model in this technology and fashion contest with a video camera in my hair? Exactly. Here, look. You'll be wearing a hair cam that Lemon will make. And a special skirt that Raspberry will make. A skirt that's also a video screen. Whatever the hair cam films, the video screen shows. And what the hair cam films will be you, demonstrating your favorite recipe using the high-tech gadgets in your kitchen. Wow, that's the wildest tech fashion idea I've ever heard of. You should definitely go with it. <laughs> but... I just don't see how I'm going to have time to be your model. I wouldn't even have time to come to the fittings. Not when I'm running two businesses at the same time. Okay, Raspberry, what do you think we should do this? Um, Strawberry? What if you only had to worry about one business? Huh? What if we run the cafe for you until the contest? Then you'd have time to be our model. Please, Strawberry? In the name of art and progress. You think you could run the cafe? Well, we do our beginner's best. <sighs> okay. 
We'll give it a try. Okay. <laughs> Order of waffles, two smoothies. Oh, who had the island surprise? Uh, what's an island surprise? I guess it's a surprise. <laughs> I can take over for you at lunch. Gotta go. I have to finish three pedicures, three berry bitty blowouts, and three fresh and fragrant facials. I'd love to come down and see it. Well, I was wondering if you'd like to be in it? Me? Huh. You want me to be in your play? Uh, I've never done any acting. I don't know. What would I have to do? Well, you'd be one of the stars. But what would I have to do? It's a terrific role. He's handsome, suave, debonair. But what do I have to do? Oh, well, you know, memorize some lines and... Say them. It's really fun. Please? Yeah! yeah. Please! <laughs> oh, hi, everybody. I, uh... Whoa! <laughs> You're all there. Strawberry? She's at the cafe. Making lunch for the rehearsal. Every member of the cast and crew gets a catered lunch and dinner. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think? Well, uh... <laughs> if you really want me to... Yeah! <laughs> Thank you, Huck. I'll email a script. See you as soon as you can get here. Okay. We have a Prince Berry Charming! <laughs> but, but, everyone in the land is invited to the first ball of the season. Why, why can't I go? Why, you have nothing fitting to wear. <laughs> but couldn't I borrow something of yours? Oh, the idea! Sister, do you hear her? Our vile stepsister has the nerve to demand one of my frocks! <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I shall never dance with Prince Very Charming. I... Oh, muffin crumbs. That's not in the script. No, I spilled. Speak not such nonsensical buffoonery. <laughs> oh, hi, Huck. No, I didn't mean you. We're rehearsing the play. Great, I'll tell them. 
<laughs> no, we're at the cafe, getting dinner for the cast and crew. We'll be at the theater in two, no, three minutes. Excellent, see you there. Oh, and thanks again, Huck. I can't tell you what this means to us. You are a real prince. <laughs> He's 10 minutes from town. Oh, it's so great he wanted to do it. Oh, he couldn't wait. Of course, the idea of having your lunches and dinners is what sealed the deal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think that's everything. Shall we get this show on the road? Charming doesn't show up soon. This whole production's gonna turn into a pumpkin. I've saved dinner for Huck. Whenever he gets here. Didn't he say he was... Yeah. Said he was ten minutes away. That was hours ago. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Finally. Oh, he's very charming. Okay. May I present our very own Prince <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> no, really, I, uh... <laughs> thanks, but I'm so sorry. I was almost here and realized I had left this script you emailed me at home. Had to turn all the way around, go all the way back, and... Well, I thought you'd all be asleep by now. We were. And dreaming of our Prince Berry Charming. Hey, well, <laughs> Charming, that's me, I guess. Hmm. The play's great. Hmm. Nice writing, Blueberry. Thank you, Huck. Coming from a great writer like you, I'm... Well, thank you. And I've been practicing my lines. I... Uh... Mm? Hi, Raspberry. What? Taking your measurements. <clears throat> Taking your measurements. For your costume? Now this time, bring it back, okay? Bring it back, bring it back, Marmalade, to me! Bring it here, to me. To me? Good girl, good girl! <laughs> huh? Naughty girl, naughty girl! Now where do you think you're going with that? Morning, Orange. Oh, hi. What's wrong? Oh, Cherry, I've been trying all morning to teach Marmalade to fetch balls, but all she does is run off with them. I don't know where she goes, but when she comes back, the balls are gone. Huh? There you are. Where have you been? This is our last ball. Cinepup knows how to fetch. Maybe if she showed Marmalade how. Oh, that's a great idea, Cherry. Worth a try. Cinepup! Wanna play fetch the ball? Huh? Fetch the ball? Go get it, girl! Good, Good catch! Marmalade? Where did you go? Marmalade! Oh, what has gotten into that puppy? Where does she go? You know, Strawberry helped me teach Cinepup how to fetch. Maybe if you asked her, she could help you with Marmalade. I'll take her to see Strawberry. Soon as she comes back, that is. Marmalade! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Come on, you. We're going to visit Strawberry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love you, too. It's so hard to think about anything but Berry Ball. I'm so excited. I know. But me 
Meanwhile, we've got a full day of things to finish off. You're right. I've got to concentrate. This will not be easy. You guys ready to dance? <sighs> as ready as we'll ever be. Sweet sugar snap peas. Dancing? I love dancing. Oh, can I dance with you guys, huh? Um, well... I mean, I've danced a lot of places, but never here. A video of me dancing Berry Bitty City style would sure look great on my Berry Best Bits page. Y you see, Apple, we're not just dancing. This is a ballet class. And I know what you're thinking. Got the grooves, but does she know the moves? Well, I once danced with the Melon Men of Mango Mesa. It was a bright, moonlit night on the moors of Mango Mesa. The bongo beans had just begun beating the boogie-woogie beat when all of a sudden, from out of nowhere, I just... <gasps> hey, wait up! I'm sure you're a great dancer, Apple. It's just... well, this is really going to be a challenge. See, this is a black ribbon ballet class. It's the highest level. We've all had to work our way up. Ah, <laughs> fiddle fruit. I can figure out anything. This'll be a piece of pie. Or easy as cake. Oh, you know what I mean. And we'll arabesque, glissade, tour jeté, Pot up array, pirouette, and chenet off. Got it? Errol who? Arabesque. Glissade. Tour jeté. Pot up array. Pirouette. And chenet. And next. Whoa. 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 have some talent. You're welcome to try my other ballet class. It starts right after this one. Oh, yeah! What color ribbon do they wear? Baby blue. <laughs> Stuck in a class with a bunch of babies. Don't be old baby blue ribbon. Prance and Peach Pits. I've danced all over the world, but no, I can't dance with the big kids. Oh, goodness, no! Please, no walking on the berry ball field, if you don't mind, dear. Oh, sorry, Berry Kim Bloom. I didn't mean uh, to... Now, off you go now. <laughs> Everyone will be showing up today, expecting my field to be pristine. I thought they were showing up to watch the berry ball game. Oh, that too, I suppose. Uh, but please, steer clear, my dear. Uh, shoes leave footprints. Unless you've got some kind of magic shoes. <laughs> magic shoes. Yeah, right. Wait a minute. Are you sure this moody hair thing is gonna work? Wow, it really does work. I'm impressed, Lemon. <sighs> is, um, something wrong, Sour? <sighs> Sweet's hair looks better than mine. Oh, I think I get it. Sour's hair is green with envy. <laughs> Trust me, Sour, if both your hairstyles are fabulous, it'll be just as much my reputation as yours. Now remember, girls, the fashion webcast is tonight, so you'll have to keep your moodies on for the rest of the day. Moodies? Oh, that's cute, Lemon. I'll see you at rehearsal in half an hour. We'll be there. What's with you and this we thing? We're twins. Huh, not if I can help it. Hi, Orange. You look nice today. Sweet! <gasps> Sour! So do you! Wow! Are those Lemon's moody hair pieces? She calls them moodies. Aren't they the best? She's so talented. Oh, is that what talent is? Who knew? We need to pick up a few things for the cafe. Happy to help. Uh, then help me understand why there's no whole wheat flour in this whole joint. Oh, uh, uh 
I just ran out this morning. Great. Well, I guess we can just forget about baking at the cafe this week. No pancakes, no pies, no muffins, no bread. Sour? Well, let's see. What if we try almond flour or coconut flour? Might be fun to improvise. No waffles, no puff pastries, no cake, and you can kiss cookies goodbye. Do you think this is funny? Ooh, what's this? My sweet sister? Angry? Uh, I'm not angry. Why would you say that? Because your hair is steaming! <gasps> this is so great! Oh, uh, golly. That's probably just static or... I don't know. <laughs> Aw, your hair is blushing. That's awesome! Your hair is doing a joy dance. You must be very happy. Happy? I am not. I was just seeing what the hair is doing. And Lemon told me these do's don't lie. But I've never told a lie in my life. That's just so wrong. As if. Gee, don't get your hair to tangle. <gasps> Orange. I'm so glad those things are locked in there. Did I or didn't I? Did you or didn't you what? Close the back window this morning? <gasps> I didn't. A hybrid I call the hot and not. Crossed half a jalapeno with a sun-sweet sugar plum and a hint of mint. Been growing them for years. I sort of like them, uh, but I don't imagine anyone else will. Mmm, they look beautiful and smell great. As much as I don't like to agree with my sister, she's right. I use them to make my hot and not chili sauce. Oh, what do you think? Chili sauce ever! We have to have it at the cafe. That's twice in one day I've agreed with her. I'm starting to get worried. It's wonderful, Barrick and Bloom. What's your secret? <laughs> no secret, really. I follow three simple rules. You can't rush. Everything takes time. Never give up. There's a solution for every problem. And always add a little loving care. Any job worth doing is worth doing well. I got a text message on my phone, but it says it's for you, Barry Can Bloom. It's from. Oh, don't tell me. When it's this time of year, I know who it's from. Tell him I brought here. Left town, out of the country, not expected back for a year or, or ten. Wait, he sent you a video. <laughs> who is this guy? <sighs> my cousin, Bertram. Boom! Where are you, cuz? I tried every number in Barry Bitty City. This time of year, I bury my phone in the bottom of a flower pot. Hey, you didn't bury your phone in the bottom of a flower pot again, did you? Ha, you know it's that time of year. What's he talking about? Uh, the jelly sauce contest at the Big Berry County Fair. Hope you're not entering the contest. You know I'll win the golden jelly again. <laughs> hey, just because we're cousins, I thought I'd give you a preview. This year, I've cooked my best batch yet. Using my most powerful peppers. Looky, looky! <laughs> Ready for a taste test, my little friend? I'll just give him a drip of a drop to warm up the palate, you see. Don't try this at home, eh? He's a trained professional. <laughs> 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 Let's see you top that, cuz. <laughs> oh, sometimes he makes me so angry, I can just... just... <sighs> Do forgive me. Great galloping gooseberries. I've never seen him so upset. Cousin Bertram's been getting the best of me since... Well, as long as I can remember. When I entered the first hot sauce contest, well, oh, 
He's won the Golden Chili every year. Ugh, that is so, so wrong. Right, exactly. Oh, you don't need a gold medal to prove how good a chili sauce cook you are. Oh, thank you, my dear. But it wouldn't hurt. I mean, fine, sure, a medal isn't everything, but it's something, and that's better than nothing. And it'd be the perfect way to show up that... that... Ugh, cousin of yours! Sour's right. There's no reason you can't beat Bert. Uh, yes, but really, I... I couldn't. It just isn't my... my... my style. Style? When I was faced with making eight dozen rhubarb trifles in one night, did I say, it just isn't my style? When my souffle deflated like a flat tire, did I climb under the covers and pull the sheet over my head? No! I say, enter that contest and beat them! Yeah! <laughs> you can oh, my dear. I know it! <laughs> I thank you, but really, it just isn't what I do. Maybe Barry Can Bloom should do what's comfortable for him. Of course he should. And that means he's got to win that contest. This year, the name Barry Can Bloom will mean hot sauce. Yes? Why, yes! This year is my year! To the Chili Patch! And victory! Victory! No! <laughs> <laughs> Disaster, only to discover we were lost in the mountain wilderness. <laughs> 